Hello, hello, hello. What is up, everybody? Krillik here, back in action in our little uh, pyramid of awesomeness. Getting all the loots. Look at that. Look at it all. All the loots. Um, this guy over here I set up. Uh, I can't remember if I did it. But glowstone, redstone, gold, and iron. Uh, he doesn't have enough because, well, they're a little expensive. But not too, too bad. And I basically moved the essence chest uh, from over there to here just for now with a tesseract that I set up on magical crops pretty straightforward right guys right okay um, now I was making more tesseracts that's what I was doing excellent that should give me a few more good I'm not gonna make them just yet but we have them ready to go aha you see you see already the plans for today. Uh, one of the things that's in this book, this beautiful, beautiful little book, and a place that we've not gone is the nether. Um, so travel to the nether. We can do that. Use a diamond dolly to bring home five blaze spawners. Well, well, well. Because we can fly, that should definitely be possible. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm a little worried. Don't get me wrong. Oh, thanks for the experience, bro. Um, you know what? I should actually... Let me just... You know what? I'm a little... I want this to be a little bit more secure than what it is. Give me one sec here. Um, I just thought about it, and I don't want the bad guys to come through the other way. <laughs> For some strange reason, I don't want that. Okay, here we go. Fence gate. Fence. Good. And good. Okay, we can put that up now. Don't need that at the moment. Okay. So, I'm going to do a quick little fence thing with a fence gate. Excellent. And we're going to light up the portal. Excellent. Beautiful. Phone be going off. I forgot to put it to mute. Forgot to put it to mute. There we go. Okay, so a lot of this stuff we can kind of stash away. But it is time for us to go to the nether. As you can see, I made three diamond dollies. So I didn't quite have enough for the five. Oh, God, that's dangerous. I better make sure I go the right way. Oh, dear. What's going to happen? Where are we? Okay. All right. Good. Not too shabby now one of the things that you'll have to remember when you do go to the nether well it's a void world <laughs> fancy that hey eh? well uh one good thing is though holy crikey look at those mob spawns oh my oh my gosh um, that's a lot of mob spawns in another fortress. Holy cow, guys. That is, you know, you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm dreaming in my brain right now. Mob farm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, guys. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. We're just going to grab him and away we go. We'll just move. We'll just leave. No big deal. No big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cranky. I get it. I stole your spawner. Get out of here. Leave me alone. I'm stealing spawners over here. All right, so not a bad little start. We got some We got some spawners. I definitely need to get an enchant on our sword. I want to get looting, but look at all those wither skeletons. Holy cow. You know what I'm going to need? I'm going to need some form of ranged device. And you know what I should have done? Is there a map? Is there a map in this? I don't think there is. Well, get out of here, Eddie. Oh, dear. You're going through there. Okay. All right. So, uh, I don't know if there's a waypoint or anything that we can do here. Um, there's a ghast. Let's see, what are my coordinates? 2333. Okay. Ow! 
And you know what? I should probably turn on my ancient coin as well. Especially if I'm going to be killing gas. Getting gas tears? Why not? Oh, dodged it. Can't touch this. Nice. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, so I need to find ourselves another nether fortress. Um, hmm, let's see. So we have two already. That's not too bad. Two blaze spawners already? I'll take that. But look at all this extra space we have by theory, right? I mean, all of this is basically free space. I'm okay with this. This is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Having vines floating in the middle of the air is a little strange. I'm really happy that we had a very close um, fortress, though. That's very nice. Um, at least for those initial ones. Aha, uh -huh, here we go, here we go. There's another one. Let's see if we can't secure ourselves. Oh, yeah, I got the ancient coin on. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, let's see if we can't secure our, another blaze spawner. Where are they at? I know that they got them. There's one. There's one right there. We're coming in from... Oh, that's a double. If this was vanilla, this would be a great little fortress. You could do a double blaze spawner there. Okay. So this guy is at 280, 160. Okay, so basically, I'm going to come back here. And we're going to go back through the portal, all that fun stuff. And we're moving slow right now because of the dollies, guys. Um, but not too, too shabby. Uh, 33, 23 type thing. There it is right there. Excellent. And we'll head back to that nether fortress and grab that other blaze spawner. And maybe even more uh, here because... We might as well, right? This is a great resource. I will definitely need a ranged attack weapon, though. Um, if we do plan on, you know, branching out from there. Okay, so let me just put these away for right now. I do want to set up a little bit of a farm with the blaze spawners because why the heck not oh god oh god yeah okay 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 yeah okay yeah we're good yeah okay filling up everything yeah, yeah. okay all right loot crates in there uh this is why you don't have your coin on <laughs> when you go close to the mob farm okay give me one sec i'm gonna be right back Alrighty folks, so I am back and we're gonna make some redstone lamps and we're gonna make some roads. I've never used these before. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've never actually used these before and I want to try. Why is that not working? Why? What? Road. Redstone lamp. Road. Road light. What? Road. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Got it. Okay. Road light. Beautiful. Now, I want the inverted version, um, which is basically you just place it back in the table like so. Um, so, I've started construction on a new little area to expand on our little Mayan adventure over here. Um, yeah, we'll just remove that. And as you can see, we're going to come down the stairs and we're going to branch like so. Um, nice little effect. You guys wondered why I needed to auto-craft carpenter blocks, did you? Well, that's why. Because I'm using a lot of them. That's why. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. So these are road lights. And apparently you go super fast on them. Um as well so as you can see we'll get a nice little boost running up into the uh the temple here for example boom right very nice i like it um but they should also provide us lighting now the reason i'm putting lighting in now i know i have the night skip gem um but just in case i decide to remove that uh we can we can kind of make sure right so 
still a little bit still a little bit uh, unsafe you know you can still fall off the side here but I feel like this is a nice little continuation of the theme that we already had um, I do want to come up with some sort of a light system um, on the four posts uh, it should be pretty easy to do with a little conduit facade and all that kind of stuff but I just wanted to show you guys that and I'm going to build the area for the blaze. Alrighty, so I'm back here and I'm getting very, very, very close to getting a couple things done. But one of the things that I want to make is this dark pressure plate. Um, pretty cool item. Uh, it's basically just a pressure plate. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but... Oh dear. Oh, guess what I forgot to deactivate when I got close. Okay. Uh, get lost. Uh, get lost. Get lost. Leave. Leave me. No! Stop it! Stop it! Get away! Okay. Whew! Alright, get out of here. Get out of here, items. Okay, good. Alright. Reactivate that muzzle. So basically what we want to do is we want to take this pressure plate and like I don't like the sounds of pressure plates but bingo like so we can put some wool around it and it's now silent okay and the other cool thing about these guys is we can paint them that's right we can paint them to be like these cobblestone with dark panels. Um, so, they're going to look and blend in quite nicely. So, let's give this a quick try. And as you can see, I've made myself a decent amount of redstone conduit as well. Uh, so, let's go take a look at the current building. Uh, pretty square at the moment. Nothing too, too crazy at the moment. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things. I've kind of been working on the entryway here. I'm really liking these little dipsy doodles on the sides. I think those just add that extra little effect. Uh, but basically what I want to do is I want to have these pressure plates like so. So that when I come up to them, boom, it opens something in front of us. Now, I also want it to activate. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, okay, over one, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, good. And this is going to run a redstone signal uh, up through these blocks, which hopefully works well. And hopefully this is going to work appropriately. So let's head on back over and make the last item that I need. And that is part of Carpenter Blocks. That's right, guys. We're going heavy into the carpenter blocks. And that is... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, the garage door. Okay. This guy, pretty easily made. Um, obviously, as you can tell, guys, I needed a ton of these. All right. So, there we go. We'll just get a stack of 64. Now, these guys, same kind of thing. We can kind of make this door a little extra special, if you know what I mean, um, with with this garage door setup. And then what we're going to do is inside, we're going to set up the blaze spawner. Okay, so if I do... Okay. Boom. Look at that. Boom. How sweet is that? Now, the other thing that you can do is you can change the way it looks. So you can have it completely blocked. You can kind of have shutter, glass, a uh, nice little effect like that. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep it completely blacked out like that. Now, what I'm thinking we should do, though, is maybe a little bit of a different block. What is this going to look like on there? It might be a nice little look. Yeah. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think that's a good look. So basically what's going to happen is you come up and boom, it closes in behind you. 
Oh, see that? Good. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Okay, and click. Okay, excellent. Now, obviously, I need to set up one to go the other way as well. Um, but I, you know, do these only activated by players? There you go. That's good enough. Okay, so only activated by players. So I can set this up on the other side as well. So let me finish this up. I wanted to show you guys this nice little cool entry anyways. And uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty, so I'm back here. And what we're going to make... Really? What we're going to make is a grinder. Of course it didn't work. And we're not just making one grinder. We're going to make four grinders. Because that's what makes sense. <laughs> four grinder height <laughs> all right there we go uh get those factory blocks in there let's get on over there and what i need actually oh i actually need four more ender pearls four ender pearls and i need conduits aha i have some so we should be okay there i'm gonna need item conduits as well and fluid conduits we'll deal with in a little bit, but not quite yet. So first things first, what we're going to need for this system to auto-kill the blaze is, you guessed it, a tesseract. That is the first step. We'll get that filled up. Um, we also need our uh, bronze and for silver. Okay. You know, these things are actually not that hard to make you know all things considered it is a tesseract it's basically transferring power wherever you want it they're not that difficult but yeah so somewhat of a decent little building it's far from being done um, this is kind of just the general basics uh, layout and what we need to do is we need to get the functionality done and then I'm going to work on the design as we go. So definitely need more of a design to it. What I'm thinking is we could go kind of like a little bit of a smaller pyramid and whatnot. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So first things first, the grinders. Now because grinders, grinders only basically do a 5x5 five five area in front of you. So I want to make sure that we have a decent amount so that we're killing these guys pretty darn quickly. Okay, so first things first, there we go. We're going to basically punch holes in the three sides, like so. And they do a five by five. So one, two, three, four, five by five. So it should kind of do this area for this one. This guy, will only get to here so as you can see there's actually a two by two section here in the back that we need to address so instead of putting him in the middle we're actually going to put him two out like so so this will be the four so basically the only spot that you can't uh that will not accept the drops is in the front here now, I could solve that by, you know, placing one here or here or doing the same thing and having two on each side. But that's just a lot. That's a lot of grinders in my opinion. So, we're going to do just four. It should be more than enough for our current needs. Um, now, this is why I specify that we're going to change up the design some as we go. Okay? because of this. I don't want these things to actually be showing out the backside, right? So when you're coming down the stairs, I want this to look nice. I don't want to have this guy sitting out like a sore thumb, right? I don't want people to know what it is just by looking at it, if you know what I mean. So definitely one of those things. So first things first, I want to get the Tesseract now i'm thinking just kind of in the middle here the middle of all right there for example yeah we'll do that and we'll set him to main power uh we don't want any items we don't want any fluid but we do want to receive power okay so this tesseract's going to receive power um 
basically what we can do now is we can hook up our power conduits just like so and again I want this to be somewhat discreet but uh, yeah it's gonna be a little sloppy again we're probably going to add like another layer on the outside of this building so it won't matter quite as much okay there's one uh, I guess we might as well just run this straight like so there's two grinders connected and of course I'm going to be too short really really apparently I'm too short guys okay good all right now the other thing is is you'll notice that this room is a one two three four five a nine by nine right and if you think of vanilla mechanics with a blaze spawner if we place them right in the middle right here for example and all the way up they will function appropriately and not spawn blazes outside of that i do not want blazes flying around my world all right as much as you guys might think it's a good idea or something it's not okay okay all right let's get these chiseled up let's get some chisel action going because we need to make this a little bit bigger okay boom and let's head on down so like i said we're going to probably tear it down kind of like what i did here but i want to get the height and everything correct first thing first and foremost so if we're going to have five blaze spawners five right i think that's what he said to do uh let's see we're gonna need let's just do this so that'll be nothing That'll be our first spawner, okay? Second spawner, third spawner, fourth spawner, fifth spawner, like so. All right, so we need definitely need this to go higher. Definitely need it to be higher. There we go. Because, remember, if the spawner's here, a blaze can spawn like this. And he won't spawn if his head is impacted, all right? So, for example, that block there... Let's just remove these. These are the spawners, right? That block there is basically going to prevent mobs from spawning on top of it. But then we need blocks all the way around like so. Okay? Make sense? God, I hope so. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Now, I don't want to make this guy too, too crazy. Let's just go two over. Um, so that should leave a little bit of a gap for a little artistic interpretation. All right. Doing good. I like it so far. We are killing it. Uh, so basically what we can do is we can start placing our blaze spawners down in the middle here. These grinders are all active now. You can see that they're working, but obviously there's no work to be had. Um, so, we need to finish up this building. Alrighty, folks, so I could spend literally all day on this building, and nothing could get done. <laughs> I have been going to town for quite some time here. And, uh, yeah, I've been listening to... Uh, Kyle Landry Piano on Twitch in the background amazing stuff check it out uh, very nice very simple but here is the building so far so far that's what I have so far I think it looks pretty neat um, obviously there's still a lot more effects and whatnot that I need to pull off it's almost looking in my opinion a little too brand new um, and I might need to tweak that top a little bit but I, I really like it. It's almost like a little bit of a bell tower or like a cathedral type look. I don't know. I, I think it looks pretty swell. It's definitely very gray, um, but I'm liking these larger bricks as well. Uh, but anyways, let's get on with the show. All right. So we're inside. Hype. Okay. We're going to remove that. So basically what you can see is mobs can spawn in here, except for... 
this one spot. Does that door... Does it let in a little bit of light? It might. Where are we getting the light from? Anyways, close enough. Um, but anyways, basically what I'm going to do is try not to die here. Ready? And one. And two. And three. And run. Excellent. So basically, I'm in the area. We should start to hear some blaze spawn. No? Yes? Hello? Blaze? Hype? Blaze? Spawn? Is it light in here? Seriously. It's not light. It's dark. Why aren't they spawning, guys? Rut roll. Um... Blaze? Um... Blaze? Wh why you no spawn, Blaze? Well, that's very interesting, guys. Uh... I'm a little confused. Blaze spawner? Why is it not working? It should work. Hmm... I don't get it. I don't get it, guys. I do not understand why this is not functioning. Is it because of these? Are these letting light pass through them? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Ow. Stop it. Okay. So that did it. <laughs> All right. So those were definitely letting the light through. Uh, let me just do this for a quick second. I didn't realize that. Ow! Really? Really? Really, dude? Okay, this might be a pain. It's fine. It's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. Warp speed. Warp speed. Oh, no. Ran out of bricks. Ow. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. It's not hurting me. It's not hurting me. It's okay. It's okay, guys. I got this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's starting to hurt. Okay. And we're out. Okay. Okay. Well, that worked. That worked out quite nicely, didn't it? Yes, I would say so. All right. Uh, let's kill this guy. Ha, ha, ha. Ow. Ah. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. You die. You die. Okay. Oh, no. Yes. Okay, grinders doing work. Grinders doing work. We're in the heat of it, guys. We are in the heat of it. And I want to remove all those torches. Okay, the fire burned out. Uh, we got light coming in still through the door. Um, hmm. How am I going to fix that? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I don't hear any. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Kill him. Kill him. One, two. I heard him. I heard him die. No, 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 no. Bad blaze. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're, we're just manipulating the fire here, guys. We're going to get this. Yes. Yes. I place that there. What the, the heck, man? Oh, it's because of the garage door. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. What if? We might have to remove these and place in. Full block. Oh dear! Did I break the things? Why is the door not working now? Oh no. Oh dear. That is not good. What did I do to the door? Why isn't the door working? I didn't change anything. I broke something. 
I broke the door, guys. Okay. Oh. Ah! Okay. Okay. Not good. Not good. Okay. Whew. Blazes. Who would have thunk, eh? So much fun. So much fun, guys. Look at this guy. Just chilling there. Like a jerk. Okay. Okay, where did that one go? That went right there. Can these catch on fire? Oh no! Okay, don't shoot. Don't shoot. It's okay. No, 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 no. Get off of fire. This isn't good, guys. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Break it. Break it. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. 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 Let them... Let's just despawn them here. Okay. We're all right. No big deal. Good thing this armor is really beefy. Okay. Did they despawn? They should have all despawned. Despawn Arena? Okay, good. Uh, no, they didn't all despawn. Okay, okay. Can you see me? No. What is that? Do I even want to know? No, I don't. Okay. You go there. 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 Okay. Alright, guys. We got it. It's okay, we got the door in place. We're active. It doesn't look like it's on fire or anything. Um, so that's good. But, how's our lighting situation? Oh my god! What is that? How are you, how did you get out? Is that like a nitro creeper? Okay, I don't want to really mess. Do not want to mess. Okay, let's go stand over here. And maybe they'll track me through the walls. I don't know. But anyways, guys, we basically have ourselves a blaze spawner. How sweet is that? Uh, so I guess the last thing that I want to do is... I need to set up the mob drops, okay? Now to do that, what I think I'm going to use is just an ender chest. Uh, so I'm going to go, hmm, you know what, I don't think I have enough blaze rods. Yeah, I do. I do have enough blaze rods. I need one ender chest is all. So let's get a chest. Let's get the ender chest hype going on here. Uh, no, that goes there. This goes like so. Excellent. We need a couple pieces of obsidian, which I also don't have much of. Oh man, we're gonna have to get some of that too. And some wool. And a piece of wool. Okay. Alright, good. Good. Okay, let's just leave it as white, white, white for right now. Because we need more blaze rods and all that kind of stuff. And I want to collect the drops from these grinders, right? So, let's start just by placing that guy there. Let's see. Work idle. Oh, dang. Yeah, I screwed that up. Okay, one sec. You do need to have a conduit attached. Uh, so maybe we could just use one, right? We could just use one here, guys. So if we do that like that, and we pipe in conduits. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Conduit extract active without signal. Alright. So, uh, put those in there. No big deal. Um, how did we get Minicio? Oh, we do get Minicio from this. Oh, dang, I forgot all about that. Okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm okay with this. 
All right. Um, and this will be an insert. Okay, good. We already got some items. Awesome. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to run this to the other guys here. I don't want it to connect with the Tesseract, so that's why I'm running it off to the side here, like so. Uh, extract, extract, active without signal, and extract, active without signal. Okay, now this one here, I remember, I didn't have enough pipe, uh, so that's why this was not connected. Uh, we'll have to, I'll have to go fix that. Okay, this guy here will be an insert, an insert, and this guy here will be an extract active without signal. Okay, so all the loots and whatnot are now heading into this ender chest. Uh, we can always come over here and dye it a different color, but you know what, for right now, it's kind of what we just needed done, so just to get it set up. Um, I need a couple more power cords and whatnot, but this thing's working. You can hear the blaze. They're dying. They're they're trying. All that kind of stuff. And it should be functional. Um, we do still need to go get two more blaze spawners to complete that quest in the book. Um, so we did travel to the nether, but we need five... We need two more blaze spawners. So I'll probably grab those as well. I mean, I have the dollies for them. It's just a matter of going and getting them. Uh, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing, if you're just about to subscribe. And uh, we'll also need to set up a little uh, little liquid setup here as well to get some all this mob essence out, because that is going to be juicy. See ya!